Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 4 of our API testing with REST Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video we will be talking about working with GET operation with parameters. Alright, so let's get started. Types of parameter in REST call. There are different types of parameter exist while performing REST call and some of them are like path parameters, query parameters, header parameter and body parameter. Well, as you can see here, the body parameter is something which will not be applicable for the get call though, but still path parameter, query parameter, and header parameters are something which is applicable for the get request that we can make for a REST call. And again, for the header parameter and body parameter, we'll be discussing while working with authentication, which is something we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course. So we'll not be discussing about these two options as of now. So just stay informed that these are something that we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course. Get with path parameters. Well, as you can see in our last video, we were discussing about the get parameters, something like given, when, and then. But this time we have an additional option like with dot path parameter and here I'm passing the path parameter as post and then I'm passing a value as one here and as you can see the path parameter is a method which is going to act something like a key value pair where the post is the key and one is the value so if I pass the post as the key I need to somehow pass this particular path parameter to our URL and that's why within our URL we have a post in a curly braces and this particular post is nothing but the key which we have supplied in the path parameter here and this value will be replaced by one while we try to call this particular get method. That's it. That's simple it is. So this is how the path parameters are manipulated while the execution is going to happen. And then the rest is pretty much the same thing we're again verifying with the dot body of authors and containing string as Karthik KK. That's it. So this is how we can perform the path parameter. And the next is the query parameter. Again, the query parameter is pretty much similar to the path parameter, just that we have a query parameter method. And here we are passing the underscore page as one and query parameter of underscore limit as two. So now the URL is going to be something manipulated or transformed into HTTP colon localhost colon 3000 slash post question mark underscore page is equal to one and underscore limit is equal to two. So it's going to be changed into that particular value based on the query parameter that we have supplied for this particular URL. And then we are verifying if the author has a size of three. Now this is how we can keep on changing the get operations of the REST API call using a very, very simple operation with the get with path parameter and get with the query parameter. And just to be informed of how the body parameter is going to look like, and again, the body parameter is something which is completely not applicable for the get. For the post, the body parameter is going to look something like this. As you can see here, we are passing the body as a method once again. And here we are passing the authentication body. Once again, the body accepts an object type and the object type has to be something like a hash map. And we're passing the string of string of authentication is equal to new of hash map. And within the hash map, we're passing the email and the password. And then we can pass that to the body. And then we are passing it to the URL as you can see in here. And then we are trying to access the access token from the body and verify how things are going to work. So this is how you can work with the body parameters. And again, these things are something which we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course, but stay informed that this is how you can pass a body parameter into a post call. So let's quickly see whatever we have discussed so far in this slides and turn them into an action. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE. All right, so this is our same project which we have been working so long in our course. And in our last video, we saw how we can work with the simple get post and performing a contain collections in a much simpler fashion. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how we can work with the path parameter and with a query parameter. So for doing that, I'm going to be creating a very, very simple method here. And I'm going to call this as perform path parameters. And within this perform path parameter, I'm going to be passing exactly the same thing like how we did before. The first thing is given. And then we're going to pass the content type here. So the content type is going to be JSON. And then we need to then pass the when statement here or the when method here. 
and within this we need to pass the path parameter. So the path parameter is going to be something like post and then I'm going to pass the value here as 3. So in order to show how it actually works in a real-time example, I'm going to show you how it looks like in the path parameter. So for instance, in the postman, if I just open the localhost colon 3000 slash post and if I hit a send here, you can see it returns me the value as just id as 3. And if I change the post as 2, you can see it returns me the id of value of 2. And if I specify 1, it's going to return me this particular value. Very, very simple and straightforward. And this is just the path parameter example. And how about the query parameter example? Here we can just pass id is equal to 1. You can see it's going to return me the same value. And if I change it to 2, it returns me id of 2 is equal to this value. Very, very cool. So this is how you can pass the query parameter because the query parameter actually has the question mark in here. All right? So this is exactly what we're going to be replicating in our code as well. And then finally, we need to pass a when. So maybe we, instead of when, we can replace this to with. And then we can say when here. And I'm going to call a get method of HTTP. Again, it's going to be exactly the same URL. So I'm just going to copy paste that. But additionally, we need to pass this particular post key so that it will be replaced to the value that we are looking for, right? So finally, we're going to do a then here. And within the then, we're going to verify the body, something like a contained string or something like that. So I'm just going to be doing that over here, something like this, right? So this is the body of author containing the string Karthi KK. So now I can directly go to uh, the feature file and I can create a very, very simple uh, scenario here because we need to verify if it is something we can execute it. So verify parameter. I know it doesn't really make any sense as of now, but just bear with me because we're gonna change all these things in our upcoming videos. I mean, from next videos, because from next video, we will be using a non-BDD styled rest assured coding practices so that we can replace all of the current BDD styled fashion in the traditional code into the step definition implementations right and it says then i should see the author names instead of that i can say then i should verify uh, get parameter something like that i'm going to do alt enter and then i'm going to create a step definition over here and once again in the same place i will be calling our uh, bdd style method dot perform path parameter right so looks all good and now if i execute this particular code it should basically run our code. Oops. All right. It seems like I have missed the dot. So that's fine. And now let's try to execute this code and see what's going to happen. Here we go. The test got failed. So it says that we're expecting the string to be containing Karthi KK, but it is null, which is correct because we're passing in three here. So we'll change it to one because only in the first value we could able to see the value, right? So if I pass the path parameter as one, only then we can see a value like author is Karthi KK. But if I pass three, it is gonna be null, which is true, right? And now if we try to execute this code, this code is gonna work fine as expected. So the test is gonna get passed over here. Cool, so that's it. So this is how we can perform the path parameter. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the query parameter as well. Again, for the query parameter, as I said, we need to pass the underscore ID of one, right? And that's exactly the same code that we'll be passing in over here as well. So instead of writing the code here, I'm just gonna copy paste some of the code which I have already written. So you can see the code is gonna be very simple as well. So here for the given, I have the query parameter method as we discussed in the slide, and I'm passing in the ID, and I'm gonna verify the first value, which is the ID of one. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the rest of the code. So you can see that this is the URL, just that we don't really have the curly braces of post as we did for the path parameter because query parameter doesn't really require that. And then that's it. We're going to verify the value in here. So I can just copy this value and I can paste it over here for calling this particular method. 
and now if I try to execute this particular code, this code should also get passed as expected. So this is how we can perform a path parameter and query parameter much easily and much simply using these simple codes. So starting our next video, we will be dealing with writing our own custom methods for the non-BDD style REST coding practices into this particular libraries that we'll be writing in so that we can reuse or make use of our step definitions that we have not used in our Cucumber implementation so far. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.